Welcome back, survivors. Uh, seven days to die, laser blade here. I am going to go over uh, building today. Now, this is not my normal save. Uh, I just basically created this and I put it in creative mode <clears throat> and uh, turned zombies off so that I could show um, building. Now, what I'm going to go over is some very basic um, potential uh, fort designs or whatever. Um, so I'm going to start by throwing together. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Okay. I'm going to go with nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. Let's break this one down. Oh, jeez. So what I have so far is basically just a ring of concrete. And you're thinking, well, what about the door? What, how do you get in and out of this thing? Well, I'll show you. And I'm building it on the road, which is asphalt, which also has a very high, um, a very high hit point amount. Um, and I haven't done any of the quests or anything like that. This is a brand new game, day one, almost at 9 o'clock. And I did that on purpose um, to give myself plenty of time to do this. Now, if you look, this is asphalt. 1,500 hit points. So, chances are we're not going to get... Uh, we're not going to get zombies digging underneath this very easily. Um, right now, zombies are turned off anyway. Alright, so we want to be able to, as zombies approach, we want to be able to see them. We want to be able to hit them. And the easiest way to do that is... To create, uh, oh, wait a minute. All right. Create sort of a visual slot, if you will. Assuming this is actually going to work, because honestly, I don't know for sure. Alright, so we gotta go to the other side. And let's see, is this gonna fall or is it gonna stay? Good, it stayed. So they didn't break that. Uh, reason that I questioned that was they did make it so that you can no longer um, you can no longer place a campfire on top of say a chest because the air gap between them uh, triggers um, the physics and the campfire falls which really sucks because as many of us know, if you if you step in a campfire while it's on, you get to catch on fire, and that's never fun. All right, so 
now from inside we will be able to uh, shoot zombies um, as they approach. However, this doesn't give us very good... Um, I mean, it's it's high enough up that we don't really have to worry too much. But, um, and I'm not going to be able to jump up here. So, <clears throat> what I need to do first is get the concrete... Side corner? Where is that? Concrete front corner. That's the one I need. Alright, so I'll grab that. And start here. I'll just fill these in. Not sure why the lighting looks different on those frames, or those, uh, those wedges, unless I grab the wrong wedges. Let's see. It says concrete ramp. I don't know. Anyway. Um. And I'll need the other. The outside. Uh, Concrete inside corner. So we'll need that. And is that the right one? Yeah. Alright. Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna know whether it's the right one or not. Uh, all right, so for the time being, let me grab wood frames. Those I can use to, I mean, I could just fly, but what's the fun in that? All right, so I'll have to do these, uh, corners carefully. Um, but basically, like from inside you can't you can't see through that gap that we just created, so you'll have to have a perimeter that will allow you to see. And now now you can see outside well enough that anything that's approaching, you should be able to hit, no problem. But that does not account for being able to see much further. So what we want to do here is throw these concrete blocks, I think. On top. Hmm. Is that going to work? Or maybe if we just, maybe if we just elevate up. Anyway, it, it, you get the idea. Um, we could do it like this. It's not going to give us a whole lot of visual clarity, and we'll have to be somewhat elevated in order to deal with that. Now we could um, do something like, uh, let's see, wood frame ramps. So we throw wood frame ramps instead of these. So I guess we'll start over here. Hmm. 
And these will allow us to... These will allow us to see that way and come all the way up here and see all the way up. Um, and from inside here, obviously, you're going to want some kind of roof, etc., so that you can see what you're shooting at, but not be restricted to. Um, So we're going to place these. Let's see how they float. Really nice. And I'm going to leave that one open for now. And this is just a, it's essentially um, a fort design, uh, somewhere where you would uh, maybe set something like this up just outside of a town, uh, something you can run back to, hop in real quick, and be safe from uh, a wandering horde or even a feral horde. Uh, it's sturdy, it'll hold up somewhat well. Um, oh crap, I filled that in, oh well, I can still get up here, so, um, anyway, so that's that, and these, the, the nice thing about these is that, uh, you put some spikes around the outside, and of course the zombies are going to die there, um, but you might actually be able to get close enough to loot them. Um, and there are other designs that work eh, a little bit better. So, uh, there is that. Um, and, of course, I would fill in these corners. I, I just have to grab the right piece and place them in there. Uh, and I could probably even put these... Here. Just in case. And the way this is set up, you could essentially attach uh, iron bars or metal trussing to the outside edge of this so that even spider zombies, they come, they're not going to get up inside of there. And you would put your log spikes or even regular spikes around the outside edge. Now, uh, the option of getting in and out. Um, you could dig a tunnel straight down. Of course, you don't want to do this on asphalt because it'll take a while. But you dig a tunnel straight down, dig it over a little ways, and pop it up, you know, like a little ways out there. Maybe maybe as far as, I don't know, um, as far as way as that car. But you have a hatch there. Uh, the zombies seem to ignore hatches for the most part. And if you're inside of here, how are they going to know that that hatch actually leads to you? At least until the breadcrumb system is in place. And then you would put a roof on top of here, and you could do that in a couple of different ways. Um, you could just put support pillars. Um, you could actually put one support pillar in the middle, have it come up, be just above the edge of this, and then, you know, fill it in, whatever. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That gives you a nice, sturdy, uh, and relatively simple place to, uh, to fight the horde from. Again, this isn't, this isn't somewhere that you hang out all day, although you could throw a forge, a campfire, um, 
sleeping bag, whatever, in here, and then just, you know, come back here during the night when the zombies are running, or um, you could use it to store all of your stuff. Um, one of these can be put up really fast. All you have to do is have the blocks already available in your inventory, or, you know, store them in a chest or whatever, and then when you're ready, grab a few stacks, run over, put it all together. Now, I didn't even use 50 um, actual concrete. I used less than 60 ramps, uh, concrete ramps, and, you know, that that's it. That's... I used four of these so far. I could use more. I, I'm the, this I would use four of the uh, the inside corner, the uh, the outside corner I use four of. I didn't even use the quarter concrete blocks. I could have. I could have used those as the um, um, I suppose in in place of these uh, to give you a little bit more of a visual range in there. Uh, but you know, it's relatively simple, easy to put together. Uh, the materials, of course, you have to wait until you actually get concrete, but the, the the good side of this is that you could build this whole thing out of wood and then just upgrade it over time. Or even build it out of uh, scrap iron and upgrade that eventually to, uh, to concrete. So, you have options this is a very simple design. It's only a 9x9 nine nine building, but there, as you can see, there is room at the bottom here to throw a, a sleeping bag, a campfire, a uh, support pillar in the middle uh, to hold your roof, and... Um, and actually, you don't, even, you don't even have to fill these in, because they give you, they give you a pretty good um, corner shooting... <laughs> Uh, uh, visual range. So, <clears throat> you know, what you do, or, or what what you take from this design, you uh, you could very easily incorporate something like this into the face of uh, an existing base and just expand out behind it. Um, you know, whatever. But this is a simple design, so... Uh, do what you will with it, and uh, um, I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, have fun, survive, enjoy, kill zombies, like, share, subscribe, um, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, until next time, see you later.